None of this stuff is of any use. You say that, but you picked up a rubber ball at a random point in time. Keep in mind... Oh, that looks like there's something kind of on. I want to look at the clock real quick. It looks like there's something behind that dresser, but this clock's suspicious. There's a clock. Nothing special. I'll make it special. Yeah. Nothing special. It's just a clock. Come on, guys. There's a trace on the floor that somebody moved this cabinet. Yeah, we'll push it. What's this? It's a hole. Ah. Harry! Shooter! Sybil? Oh, Didn't think I'd see you I'm again. I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. Yeah, a bunch of kids it's killed me. Nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. She flew there away. There's no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. I, I was right about the flying bit. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. And you just let her go, her Harry? Is Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. <laughs> and? So abrupt with that no. She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any is idea it gibberish it when pterodactyls are eating you? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> yeah. They sell them to the tourists. A good bit of lore of course, there. still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hallucinations. They're not real pterodactyls. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. It's all a public service announcement. Drugs are darkness. Don't let this be you. What's this? It's a hole. Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out She's first. a police officer, Harry. I'm You're just on vacation. No, I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Yeah, she really didn't feel like arguing. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Gyromancy? I'm kind of into it now. Well, like some other world... It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I would have assumed that you would have seen some I try of this. To make sense of it, but then my mind I guess all blank. she gets is the fog pterodactyls. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. 
It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? The drugs, obviously. I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. I'm gonna have to take you in, Harry. You're on the drugs. That's illegal, you know. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Like, sure, she didn't experience any of this stuff, but you would think with everything else going on, that she would be like, yeah, okay, well, m be careful with all that stuff, Harry. Not just like, yeah, I don't really know what you're talking about. You're, you're hallucinating. You're, you must just be exhausted. Like, th none of that dream stuff could possibly be happening. And like, we're not positive on whether or not she sees pterodactyls and whatnot. But she knows that the roads are out, that things are weird. Things are more dangerous than she thought, I think she said early on in that cutscene. Whatever. It's fine. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. Uh, one important thing to note. Well, let's actually watch this then. What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. When, uh... Maybe this is the other church. When Galipsy said other church, I thought it would be like the hell world. Um, one important thing to know is that we have a battle axe here, if I can pick it up. There's an axe. It's a better version of the knife, so it's like quick, but I think the hammer is technically better overall. Uh, in that cutscene when we were talking to Sybil, she mentioned the drugs and that they uh, give them out to the tourists and the force is trying to deal with them. That also implies that there is just a normal Silent Hill where things happen normally and things aren't always wild fog worlds and whatnot. Looks like an altar. Wonder what they worship. Some kind of powders left in the chalice. Uh, I don't think I really have anything to do here. Was it just seeing this? I don't think I can do anything with the powder. Can't use that here. Can't even use that at all. VHS. Small one-handed axe, moderately effective as a weapon. Highly damaging, but hard to use. Hard to use, but better than nothing. You say better than nothing, but we got the pipe really quick there. Yeah, I think the hammer is realistically better. Oh, okay. Guess I'm done here. Never mind. Do we know where we are? We're just at the antique shop, because that isn't the hole I went through, right? What the? Oh, Lord. Well, at least I got an axe out of this. Harry? Are you okay? You know, we could have both uh, went in there. Harry? Where'd I go? I was just curious though of Well, never mind, cutscene. Where am I? Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. 
She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. They kept spinning around, doing As gyromancy. I need to stop with the gyromancy. I just think it's funny. By the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was what that happened? Another dream? Or at least ago. Did I pass out again? Whose couch is that? There's like people hanging. Oh, we're in like a hell world again. Uh, I don't want to think so, but maybe this is all going on in my head. I could have had a car accident and now I'm lying unconscious in the hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake. But the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. I don't know if we are heading back to the hospital. Oh, there's the circle! I can practice gyromancy! Woo! Spinning! Okay. That's ready. I've had enough fun. Where are we? Still the antique shop, apparently. I would imagine we want to just get back to the hospital because we are going to try to talk to Lisa again. But considering uh, what we're seeing here, might be a little crazy outside. And I don't know. I'm going to say the path there is going to be a little convoluted. I think I ever call this whole section being kind of weird. We're like kind of, I would say we're kind of getting into like mini dungeons because they're not really like, well, we're already outside, which is great. They're, they're not really like going through puzzles and going through doors. We're very much, I believe, going to just follow a predetermined path here. Uh, but I don't remember there being anything in particular. These old monkey guys are all over the place. So let's try to run past them and just get to the hospital. Uh, oh, there's also problems like that. They like to jump us, chomp us. I think there's like a weird thing that we have to do to find our way out of here. That's completely blocked, so that isn't going to help us at all, actually. Okay, and the monkey man got me again. I may or may not die. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now, because we're just trying to figure out where we need to go to progress. I think this is the only time, at least as far as I can remember, where outside is just full Silent Hill like this. I think, for the most part, they tend to keep the... I don't really know where to go. 
for the most part, they tend to keep the outside Silent Hill section normal. Uh, there is, I, I guess in Silent Hill 3, you can kind of say one area turns like this outside. There we go. We want to go that way. I'm dying. I kind of just want to let this happen at this point. Finish me! He's kind of... I, I like how no fanfare, he doesn't do like a death scream, it's just like, you know what? That monkey was kind of chomping at your dick for a little too long. It's not always uh, best to confront enemies on front of Harry, rather than wasting bullets. We'll just pretend that didn't happen, we know where to go now, just against that wall, I think it was that great at hole. I'm pretty sure I know where that is leading, it's, but like I said, it's like... Not really a dungeon, so this part is kind of very dreamlike in that you kind of just happen upon new areas as you progress. Oh, God, you fucker. Don't chomp on me. Knock it off. They put you, like, right there, too, just to spite me. What was that, a dog? Get me out? Okay, we're good. Where did we actually even end up? I probably can't look because it's going to be like its own map. Oh, we are in the town center. I should have expected that, honestly. I also realized that in hindsight, it does say antique up in that corner. I just really couldn't read that. I kind of forgot this was the town center. Giga store. Is town center just like another word from a mall? Because I always remember this place as a mall. I never really realized it was called town center. That's just weird to me. But this looks very mall like. What is this? Are those like subwoofers? That's definitely not what a subwoofer would look like. Looks like a bunch of speakers, though. Probably not a bunch of speakers. I love all the, like, pipes down below, too. Not a lot of exploration here. Which, again, is why I kind of think this is just... Wouldn't really count as a dungeon. There's a more explicit, like, mini dungeon we'll get to. I believe right now this is basic let's go up the escalator never mind oh there were televisions symbols they don't even look like they like mean anything oh wait that one's evil picture is projected on the screen Cheryl where could you be so a lot of random symbols half of them look like that scary maze game where the uh am I oh I'm playing I couldn't even tell why was my flashlight off? Half of them look like the scary maze game where the uh, exorcist shows up to spook you. I like the like hands grabbing out. It like it is simple enough to look like an advertisement that would be in the mall, but it's just a little unsettling to go with the you know spooky nature. Nothing else in the corners? Wanna find bonus, but there's no bonus for me. Got a little stuck on that corner.
I'm gonna say, like, I hear static, but maybe not. Maybe when I go this way. There it is. What? Oh, God. What was that? I've fallen, and I can't get up. Oh, hello. The nasty little caterpillar. Before we deal with that caterpillar, let's pick up the handy-dandy hunting rifle. Ah! I don't like you. Uh, it might be a good idea to not go in that menu, but to uh, maybe get a gun out. We don't really have ammo for this. Like, we have what was in it. So let's just stick with shotgun. I'm ready. I don't know if this is like a... Okay, I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. I don't know if it... I was gonna say I don't know if it's like a tremor situation. But considering he jumped out and... Grabbed me immediately, it might not be. I'm ready. Okay, he's... Oh my god. He's too powerful? Does he only come out of those holes? He's too powerful. Got him. Maybe I should have been dodging out of the way. <laughs> Maybe I should just get ready to dodge, wait for him to come out, and then deal with the shooting part. That caterpillar, too strong. It's okay. This time we won't get attacked by the monkey. Oh, we start right here, actually. That's actually very nice of the game. Like, that's super nice of the game. We do need to still pick up the, uh, hunting rifle. I don't know if we have a chance after the boss fight, but... Alright. Dodge around. Miss my shot. Just spin a little bit. Mm. Takes a lot longer to prepare your gun. I think I did shoot him. Yeah, it seems like the best thing is to just kind of run around. It kind of seems to go in like a straight path. Can't handle me spinning like that. Just going in a circle. Would help if I didn't stop mid-spin. Shoot him? I don't know why I didn't want to shoot. I don't know if I was reloading. He's too far away. That wasn't going to work. Yeah, I must have been reloading. Okay. I guess I really need to give it a minute to aim. Got him. The ultimate boss fight. Damn it. Just out of range. Ah! Okay, don't uh, run too close to the hole when he pops up. I don't think I hit him. He's too powerful? Where is he? Damn, Caterpillar. What a punk. The thing, too, is when you're running, you kind of have to... I... I thought dodging out of the way might have been fine if I, like, shimmied a little bit. It didn't really work out. It wasn't the best idea. Maybe if I do, like, the... Yeah, that motion. You can't handle me. Alright, he's dead. And I wasted another bullet. 
Yeah, scrunch up, you fool. Oh, wait. We're good. I'm sure he won't come back. I liked a quick shot of Harry so you didn't have to, like, animate the glass being broken. Yeah, that was most of my ammo. Don't worry about it. A lot of it wasted. Again, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. We're good. We're fine. It's all good. Not a problem. So he could have picked up the hunting rifle after the fact. I'd imagine it probably would have done good damage since they give it to you there, but... Don't want to use it quite yet. I don't know where we're going to end up. Outside. Oh, wrong button. Pterodactyl. It's good I accidentally walked back into the building, so give it a minute. Let me reassess. Not turn off the flashlight, maybe. I just want to look at the map. Figure out where we're going next. Oh, we were just out behind the... Okay. I thought we would teleport somewhere more convenient for us, but... Book it! I wasn't sure if this was the right way, but it's kind of leading us. Look at the nice little windmills. It's nice to know that Silent Hill is eco-friendly. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, we just have to... Again, pretty straightforward pathing here. We don't really have a lot of options. Just follow where we can go. Watch out for pterodactyls and dogs and... Wacky creatures. A lot of wacky creatures. I seem to have taken a wrong, wrong turn. Oh, so many enemies. I want to go this way, but... I'm having a hard time aiming my direction properly. This isn't even where I want to go. I'm dying. I'm in the corner and I'm dying. Yeah, I'm sure we're feeling great. It's like big boost us up. Please, dogs. Now is not the time. I think we do want to take a weird corner. Oh, fuck. We do want to take a weird corner like that, but apparently not here. I turned the lights off like an idiot. I, I also thought it, like, faded out because I was going into the map and didn't realize until I was like, hmm, you know, I still hear monsters trying to eat me. Maybe a mistake was made. A, a regrettable decision to press circle instead of triangle. Is this where I need to go? Nope. Another bad corner. They need to stop making these corners. They make me upset. And definitely not that way. Okay. Help me out here, game. Eventually, we'll find the correct path. It has to be like this way, right? We only really have the one option. Can't imagine we can go to Old Silent Hill from here, so... Try our best to get out of here. Watch out for pterodactyls. At least it's not the monkey man. There's a hole. It looks like the... Never mind. I'm going to say it looks like the path's fine, but now there's barbed wire that won't let me through. That, that's definitely not the correct way to go. This way. Not that either. There's a... There's a sign there. But that doesn't mean anything for me. I don't know where to go now. Oh, I see. I went too far down. That's why it's blocked off. The hospital's over here. 
I didn't think I was that far. Dogs! Oh, come on. I was trying to move. Bit of a convoluted path to get here. Had to fight a caterpillar. Wasn't fun.